Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today on Rixaw, we're going to answer the question, are French cleat tool holders really worth the hype? We are diving in to the creation of a French cleat tool panel, okay? It's something that I've been using in my workshop for quite a while, but I ran to something that's a bit concerning about building French cleat storage solutions, and that's the price. With skyrocketing wood prices and plywood prices and all building materials, are French cleat tool holders really sustainable? Today, we're going to discuss if French cleat tool panels are truly worth the hype they're given on YouTube. I have behind me a uh, French cleat tool panel. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate some tool storage uh, items that I've built, as well as build a uh, matching French cleat tool panel here. Also, we're going to look at storage solutions that do not utilize French cleat, and we're going to talk about some of the prices involved with these different methods. Okay, let's get started by completing the build on this matching French cleat tool panel. What I've done is I've already ripped down my half inch plywood. I'm using half inch plywood uh, in strips with a 45 degree on the end. Okay, that's the premise of the French cleat. Uh, complementary 45 degrees are going to line up and lock into each other. Okay, we'll get into that in just a moment. So I've already laid out some marking lines that are going to be able to match up with those. So once we um, butt them up next to each other, they'll line up really nice. The first thing I'm going to do here is uh, pin the pieces of plywood in place and then I will screw them in from the backside. And it's just going to be slightly different from that one, so you won't be able to see the screws. Okay, so now that I have these strips in place, let's go ahead and pin them in. All right, what I'm going to do is drive uh, three pins in each one just to hold it securely while I screw it in from the back. All right. Now that they're just pinned in place, we'll turn it over and I'll screw in and secure the cleats to the panel from the backside. As I'm doing that, we'll talk a little bit about what makes up this panel and how much it costs to make. Now that I have my French cleat strips mounted to the panel or the backer board, uh, I want to talk a little bit about how much it costs to really make one of these panels, okay? If we're talking in terms of four, full 4x8 four sheets, let's say you went and wanted to make a full wall of this uh, for modular storage, it would cost you about $25 for the OSB sheet. It's about 22 to 25 in my area. And then I'm using a half-inch maple plywood. That runs about $85, okay? And so I finished this. We won't count that. But we're looking at over $100 just to make a full 4x8 sheet of this, Okay. Now, I will have, if I cut down the strips, depending on my spacing, I will have some left over so I could potentially do um, two sheets as well. So let's add another 25 to that, okay? $135 just for uh, panels to go on the wall to put all of our tool holders on. We haven't even added the cost of the tool holders. Let me show you something in comparison using the same material, but we're going to effectively build just tool holders instead of putting it on a cleat. Right. All right, let's get this out of the way and slide this over here. This is an example of a tool holder that effectively uses these same strips of maple plywood. And I've just drilled some holes in it to be able to store all of my tools. OK, now these are something that can simply mount to the studs in the wall and I wouldn't necessarily need a French cleat tool system to support them. So is a French cleat tool system really an effective solution if it costs so much to be able to hang, just to hang tools on, all right? I think it really depends on your use case. If you're looking for something that's modular, so the ability to move your tool storage around, if you need something that requires you to be able to move your tool storage, then a French cleat panel or a French cleat system may be what you're looking for. But if you're not looking for that, or if your tool storage is rather large, then maybe that's not the solution for you. 
let me show you the other side of the workshop where I have dedicated tool holders designed without French cleat system that hold tools perfectly, but those tools are rather large. I don't need to move them around a lot. And it costs me a lot less than lining everything with French cleats. Let me show you that really quick. All right, so this is a wall in my workshop. Um, it's a half wall because I have a stairway on the backside. But uh, if you can imagine building an entire wall of French cleats here, I'd have a lot of unused, expensive French cleat real estate. So instead of doing that, what I've done is I've built individual tool holders to hold all of my items. I've screwed them into the wall, and these are some of my bulkier items, okay? So this, for example, is a template that I use for routing out my workbenches, okay? Uh, just simply designed a cleat, basically, that locks in, and they're custom designed to each tool, okay? You'd still have to do that same process if you had French cleats, but it would require uh, more wood to be able to build those specific tool holders. You need a French cleat to go on the back. You need a support mechanism so that it won't fall off the cleat. These are simply just screwed in to the wall. They hold very securely and they are much cheaper than a full French cleat panel. All right, so let's head back over to the French cleat panels, finish those up and get them mounted on the wall. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna set up the French cleat tool panels on this back wall and then we're gonna do a comparison without the French cleat tool panels. Okay. So what I plan to hang on this back wall is going to be just some of my um, tools and some tool holders that I've already built. Uh, I might use my French cleat shelf, but we'll see. So I have one tool holder here, and this is gonna hold just some picks, some small screwdrivers, some torque screwdrivers, and a few odds and ends. We'll put this over here. Okay. Now these are not secure in place. They're not mounted on the wall. We're just doing it for demonstration purposes. Okay. What I wanted to demonstrate here is that I have tools that are going to take up valuable French cleat real estate that are going to prevent me from putting holders below. Let me go ahead and bring you in for a closer look on this panel design while I set up some other tools. What I have here is another tool holder that I've designed that holds all of my squares. But as you can see, I'm losing quite a bit of French cleat real estate. All right, if I didn't want the modularity, then I could simply mount these to the wall and save all the wood from building just the French cleat panel, okay? And I could build more tool holders and mount those to the wall. Similar story here. I mean, I have two systems here. I'm gonna be running into things, so maybe I have to mount this a little bit lower. And for clearance, I've effectively used this full panel just for two French cleats when I could mount those to the studs and save all this wood and build more tool storage, okay? So you really have to ask yourself, are French cleats the best bang for your buck? And are they really worth the hype? Let's look at this setup, but without the French cleats. Here is the example where I've removed the French cleat panels and I've mounted the tool storage directly to the wall. It's secure for these tools. I'm not worried about them falling, okay? I've gotten into the studs on most of the mounting points and everything's balanced. I have a ton more space over here. If I wanted to fill in these pockets, I could by either shifting them down or adding a little bit more unique custom built storage. but I don't need to at this point. And I don't think I'm gonna be moving those around enough to justify the use of French cleats. What it all comes down to is your specific needs and what works for your workshop, okay? In some places, I do have some French cleat tool panels. In other places, I have permanently mounted storage solutions. I think if you can avoid the expense of adding French cleats to your entire workshop and you don't need the modularity, then a permanent solution is for you. But if you need that modularity, then by all means, try out French cleats in your workshop. That's all for today. Join us on the next episode of the Garage Workshop Rebuild Series. And thank you for watching Ricksaw.